Hi everyone, so uh, just a fair warning, I'm sick and I might cough in the middle of my video, but I'm going to try to make it through this as smooth as possible. So in this blog post, um, I want to talk about the first TED Talk of the week. It was by Drew Curtis and it's called How I Be a Pattern Coach. So at the beginning of 2011, Drew Curtis, who is the founder of Bark.com, was sued for uh, patent infringement by this company called Gooseberry Natural Resources. And Gooseberry had also sued Yahoo, MSN, Reddit, AOL, and a bunch of others for the same exact thing. Now, what have all these companies been infringing on, apparently? Well, Gooseberry claims the rights to the creation and distribution of news releases via email. Now, the problem is that patents aren't always being granted for ideas and processes that are already being done. Adding to this problem, the patents are worded obscurely oftentimes and very vague. So as a result of this dysfunctional patent system, most of these troll lawsuits and then settlements and at that under non-disclosure agreements so fortunately under an nda this means we can never find out what the actual terms of the litigation were um, and patent trolls use this to their benefit since they can go on and tell others that they won um, and make up things so drew curtis tells us that the average patent troll defense costs about $2 million and takes about 18 months, sometimes a lot of times more than that if you actually win. <coughs> so Curtis, in this case, actually realized that FARC.com was not in violation of this patent and intended to go on and help other companies um, that Gooseberry was attacking. The problem was all these companies were all settling. So Curtis's final advice on fighting a patent litigation was, one, don't fight the patent, but fight the infringement. It's much easier to do that. Number two, make it clear from the very beginning that either you have no money or that you'd rather spend all of your money fighting the troll. Number three, reinforce that you'll make the process as annoying as possible to them. So just come fighting strong, and that's the best way to beat these trolls. Thanks for listening.